It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've been to an antique centre. I can't believe the stuff that I've found. I'm really kind of... Sometimes you can go to an antique centre, you will find absolutely nothing. Other times, you'll find beer with a combined age of about 400 years, which I've got today. And some of these beers are really, really interesting. I'm going to start off, though, with... Um, I bought some and slightly, these are slightly antique. Um, I picked this up as a bar pump for my, for my bar, my little man cave out there. It actually lights up, a 12 volt plug needs to go on there and this front lights up. So it's Brains Beer. So the reason why I picked this up is because Brains Brewery have been bought out by Marston's and I reckon in about 20, 30 years time, you may not see the name Brains Brewery around so much. So that's that. Um, then I bought a... This needs a bit of figuring out. This is a mass Talking about Marsons. Marsons Burton Bitter. But I bought it for the actual top. That really interesting kind of pull on the top. It all needs kind of working out and fixing together. A little bit of brasso as well. <clears throat> Whilst I was in that stall, I picked up a beer from a brewery in Edinburgh. This, this was the most expensive beer that I bought. It's by Bernard's in Edinburgh, Bernard's Brewery, and it's an India Pale Ale. Now it's a rusty old top. This beer, the brewery disappeared in 1900, so I think this brewery, I think this beer is a, is over 100 years old. Uh, that is really kind of incredible to, to be even, and I picked it up, it wasn't, I mean, I, I see it expensive. It wasn't that much, it really wasn't that much. But whilst I was there, um, he was like, oh, I got this old bottle of Baby Sham um, from the 1970s. Still sealed, and I kind of laughed and giggled, and he said, oh, you can have that. And he gave me the price for the two. So I bought the two. Um, this is a bottle of Baby Sham. Special edition from the 1970s. 750ml bottle. Bit of fun, that one. Chuck it in the bar. Leave it in the corner. Forget about it. That type of, that type of thing. Um, and then we got the interesting stuff. So this is the first edition bottle of Innocent Gun. Oak Age Beer. It's all there, it's all kind of. In the, in the cardboard case there. And we have a bottle of Harvey and Son, Bridge Wharf Brewery in Lewis. This is a bicentenary brew, strong pale ale, 550 milliliter bottle from 1990. So, 2020, this is 32 years old. Pretty cool, limited edition. I've never had anything from Harvey and Son in Lewis. I don't even know if there's still a brewery, but look at that wonderful looking brewery. Bottle cap. Uh, next up, interesting beer, we have a, this is from Watney's. Remember Watney's, the Red Barrel? This is their Royal Celebration Ale. Uh, 1981. A lot of these now are uh, celebration else, but there's a couple of real beauties here. Um, the box one is a Whitbread box. I'm going to show you that uh, now. But this is yeah. Let's let's get this Watney's out, shall we? Here it is. 1981. That makes it 41 years old. 275 milliliters of beer. Bonkers, isn't it? that one right that's that's sorted that's put away right next up i'm going to get the whip bread one out whip bread london whip bread now if you're young and you're watching this uh they're now the owners of costa coffee and premier inn but whip bread used to be a brewery uh some of the older viewers here will kind of definitely know that um, beer is in here. Oh. Right, 
look at this. They knew how to do it years ago, didn't they? 11.5% ABV celebration ale. 250 years. Oh, so this one's 250 years. So this is not even this is not even to celebrate Princess Diana. Oh, there we are. This is a celebration ale from from Whitbread. 250 years old. It's going to slide this back on. I'm going to look after this one. I don't know whether to drink it or not. 11.5% ABV. I'll sort that out in a minute. That needs um, a little bit of attention, that one. The box is a little bit old. Um, I'm just going to get it. I'm going to show one off um, because I know this brewery, Elgoods, have just relaunched. Elgoods Brewery, I think they're based in London. North Brink Brewery. Bizbesh in, in England. I think that might be London, London Way. Um, Elgoods, 1878 to 1978. This is their Royal Wedding Ale of 1981. So this brewery, Elgoods, have just launched again. They're back out. No, it's not. It's All Sops. No, sorry, All Sops, wrong brewery. This is a this is an interesting one. Uh, Swindon Town Football Club promotion lager. Division 4 Champions, made by Arkells Brewery. Best before date is May 1987. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. Then we have a Indcoop 1981 Strong Lager to celebrate the marriage of the Prince of Wales and Lady Diana of Spencer. Um, the people of Wales, a loyal toast from the people of Wales. So... Um, it's from Tradiga, I think. <laughs> Amazing. I had to buy them all. He did me a wicked deal. I had to buy them all. Um, point is, I like my history. And I just think things like this. Basically, an old guy went into the place with a boot full of beer. Said his brother had passed away. Um, this is the story they told me anyway. And he had all these bottles on his wall in his house. And they're cool. Uh, Royal Wedding Ale, 275 mil. This is by Arkells and Son. Swindon, so the same brewery as the football. Swindon Town. So the guy was from Bristol area. Um, Swin Celebration Ale, the wedding again, 1981, Diana and Prince Charles. Young and Co's Brewery, London, England. So this is Young, Young's, pretty cool. The Ram Brewery in Wandsworth, big block of flats now. Pen Ruddock Arms, Dinton in Wiltshire, Royal Wedding Ale, bottled by Wadsworth. How cool is that? Next up, we have a wedding ale from... These are all 1981, these Royal, Royal Wedding Ales. This is by Thwaites. Royal Wedding Ale, 1981. Very strong ale. Interesting one, just to break it up a little bit. Because you must be thinking by now, wow, there's a lot of Royal Wedding Ales here. But they're all from... Some of these breweries are, are not around anymore. But look at this one. Theakston. Thixton's Prince of Ales, 1981, Celebration Ale. How cool is that? Have you ever seen anything like it? I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Masham, Yorkshire. Royal Wedding Ale from St. Austell Brewery. St. Austell are still going. Doing rather well, actually, aren't they? Cornwall. 29th of July, 1981, Royal Wedding Ale. <coughs> Interesting how they got these foil kind of caps on them. Uh, the Blue Anchor, Helston in Cornwall. Spingo Home Brewed Ales. The Prince of Ales. A very special brew to commemorate the marriage of, 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 of yeah, of... 
Charles and Diana again. Again, I'm not sure if this brewery still exists, but they exist in this bottle. And that's, that's the curious thing for me. I've always been curious for history in that manner, in that way. <clears throat> Prince's Preference, traditional English ale. Um, who's this by? The Chilton Brewery, Terrick in Aylesbury. Amazing. Bottle of Skull. Bottle of Skull Lager, limited edition strong lager for the wedding. 1981. How cool is that? Next up, we have a Morals Royal Wedding Ale. 275 milliliter, brewed to celebrate the wedding. This is the Lion Brewery in Oxford in England. Mary Ann Jubilee, Diet Lager, Ann Street Brewery. The Ann Street Brewery, where, where's that? I mean, no idea, no idea. Bass, extra strong, Royal Brew Lager. Bass, there we are. Won't get many bottles of Bass anymore either. They went, um, they went defunct in 1999, I think they went. Royal Wedding, C&D. Uh, brewed by Hall Woodhouse Blandford in England. They weren't, even, they weren't even called Badger. This is Badger Ales, Hall and Woodhouse. They're not even called Badger. They're just called Hall and Woodhouse. Isn't that amazing? Hawthorne Brewery in Gloucester. Gloucester Cathedral 1300. So this is, isn't a Royal Wedding Ale, but it's, it's the Gloucester Cathedral beer. Pretty cool. Usher's Celebration Ale from Usher's Brewery. They were a br big brewery up um, Trowbridge, up, um, Bir I think that's Birmingham way, isn't it, Usher's? Four to go then. Joshua Tetley Wedding Ale. Tetley's, proper bottle of Tetley's. I bet this tastes better than the blooming Tetley's they produce today. May God bless them both, it says on the bo ba back of the bottle there. Next up, we have an Own Ale Royal Wedding Special Brew 1981, uh, bottle number 453, Gravity 1050, that means it's going to be about 10.5% ABV. Uh, who's this by? Brewed and bottled by Barry Haslam, the Miner's Arms Brewery in Somerset. Isn't that amazing? The Miner's Arms, brewing beer in their little breweries, in the pubs. Courage! Ceremonial Ale, the Royal Wedding, 29th of July, 1981. So a bottle of Courage there as well. Royal Wedding Ale. <laughs> Incredible. And, because I'm running out of space, last but not least is a bottle of Burnie Royal Reception Strong Ale. Brewed and bottled in the United Kingdom for Burnie Inns Limited, the Pithy in Bristol. So Burnie Inns and Schooner Inns. Who can remember Schooner? I remember Schooner Inns around here in uh, South Wales years and years and years ago. They got bought out by Harvester. They're now Harvesters. So I hope you liked the video. Um, I like a bit of history. I like to kind of... Um, I think these bottles have fallen into the right hands. The very fact that I've shown them off on YouTube. I'm going to list them, list them all up now on YouTube. And they'll live on on the internet forever. I might even drink a few. Hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.